One of the new features in Stratusform's version 1.2 is the ability to create uh, HTML templates for your out-of-the-box SharePoint forms quickly and easily. Uh, this functionality allows you to simply customize the way the out-of-the-box forms look without the need of writing any JavaScript whatsoever, without the need of doing anything uh, anything at all like you have to do with the original Stratusforms functionality. In, in fact, the name of this method to use the template is called Stratusforms Lite. Um, this functionality is based upon a blog I wrote a while back on creating HTML templates for your forms. So I've just taken that and put it into the Stratusforms library to make it easy for you to use. To get an idea of how this works, let's go through a very simple example and then we'll go through a more advanced example. So here in my SharePoint site, I have a uh, list called time and this time list has just a few fields on it and what I want to do is manipulate how this page looks how this form looks so it looks easier to, uh, looks nicer to the user or just looks different to the user so what we have to do is create an HTML template and in this HTML template uh, what we're doing is we're writing HTML and it's just HTML and we can go and give that HTML to one of our designers and say hey designers go make me some really beautiful HTML to display uh, these fields from a form. However, instead of putting the actual fields, the text boxes, into the HTML template, I want you to place a span, like we have here in this example. And in that span, that you, I want you to give that span a class of Stratusforms template. And then there's another attribute in that span called data-form field. And for this attribute, I want you to place the display name of the field that exists where that span is. So what this templating process does is you specify in an HTML template which SharePoint form field you want to exist in your template by creating a span where the display name of that field is in the data form field attribute. And the Stratusforms Lite functionality will find that field in your SharePoint form and then move it to the location in your HTML template. So here we have, again, a very simple HTML. It's an HTML table uh, where we're going to take the name of the project from that time field and we're going to put it in an H1 header and so within a table cell. And then we have our span here um, with the class of Stratusforms template that has the data form field value of project. So it's going to find the field called project and move it into this H1 span. And then we're going to do the same thing with the Monday field. So on the next row down, we're going to put the Monday field into a table cell right next to the label Monday hours. Uh, and it's going to be have a heading two on it. So it's going to be a little bit smaller than that project. And then what we need to do is uh, include our files, which we're including jQuery min because Stratusforms needs jQuery. And we're including the new Stratusforms library. Uh, la the last thing we need to do is execute the method Stratusforms Lite on the form. And that will take this template that we see here and move the fields into the template. Uh, for this functionality, you don't have to create that Stratusforms data field. You don't have to write any JavaScript whatsoever. You just need to include these files, create your template, and then call the Stratusforms Lite function. So let's see what this looks like uh, on our form. So here I am, again, at the default display form, and I'm going to edit this page. And to this page, I'm going to add a web part. Now, I'm doing this with the display form, but it works with new forms and edit forms as well. Uh, I'm going to add a media and content, content editor web part. And now I'm going to edit this web part. And I'm going to point it to that file which is in my site assets library and it is called time template.html so now I'll apply that and I'll go ahead and stop editing here and we can see that when we go to the display form for this time field we now see project as a, as a header one at the very top and underneath that we have Monday hours which is slightly smaller and we see it moves those fields out of our form so using these concepts we can make these forms look however we want to so we can have very highly stylized forms without really impeding what SharePoint is trying to do to the form. So uh, the 
the download for Stratusforms 1.2 has a an example of this in there, and it uses um, an issues list, and it puts an issues list into jQuery UI tabs. So let's quickly walk through that functionality so you can see something a little more advanced. So in my SharePoint site, I'm going to do this completely from scratch. Um, I'm going to create a new list. I'm going to add an app, and I'm going to add an issues list. So it's an issue tracking list. I'll call it issues, and we'll create that. So now we have an issues list. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to that example file that you get when you download uh, Stratusforms 1.2 from uh, the IT Unity website. And it comes with this issues template HTML file in which we include some a lot of script here. We include the jQuery UI because we're going to put the form in tabs. We're including jQuery. Uh, we're also including Office Fabric UI uh, and this is so that we can take advantage of their grid layout to lay our form out uh, like in a bootstrap type grid. And then we've got the HTML and this is the more complicated HTML that just breaks up that issues form into two different tabs. Then when the page loads I'm going to execute the tabs method that jQuery UI needs to turn this into tabs and then I'm calling the Stratusforms Lite function uh, so that it will actually do the moving the fields into the tabs. So using this, again, this is just the file that comes with the download package. So I'm going to come back into my site. I'm going to go to the new item form. Now I'm going to edit this page. I'm going to add a web part. Again, it's going to be a media and content, content editor web part. Here, let's edit the web part and let's link this web part to our file, which was in site assets again. I believe it's called issues template.html. When we apply it, you can see that it turns this form into a tabbed form. So now we can stop editing it. And since we did it to the new form, I can just do a new item. And now when we open up a new item, it is in this HTML tab. So we can add the information we want to for this issue. We get the additional information we want to add about the issue if we want. And we can save it. So it creates the entry just fine. If we look at the display form, the display form is going to look like the old form because we didn't modify the display form. But we can actually use the same form for the display form. So I can, again, edit this page, add a web part, media and content, content editor, edit the web part, and again, link it to that file in our site assets. Issues template.html. And now both our new form and display form are within tabs. Okay, it's so pretty easy. Um, now keep in mind that this HTML file that we're using that you're using for your template, you can also write JavaScript in here. So you can do uh, if you're comfortable with JavaScript, you can write extra business logic in here to do things like uh, check for field validation to make other business logic calls. So you can actually do more than just templatize it. But this allows you to quickly change the way your forms look without much effort. There's also some other features in 1.2 that's new. We've got some bug fixes. Uh, download the library and check it out. And uh, thanks again for taking a look at Stratusforms.